Hello everyone, it's me, the 5 Minute Reviewer. By now you have heard about a lot of controversy regarding enforced diversity, especially by this narrative company called Sweet Baby Incorporated, and how they tried to cancel um, another gamer when he began calling them out. But I already did a video on that, so the purpose of this video is not to rehash that, but to give advice to gaming companies who really want to do stories which are diverse and interesting. And in addition, it will also feel very natural. And that is to explore history. Now, history is full of wonderful stories. And if you explore outside the Western world, there are many, many interesting stories out there, such as the Edo period of Japan to the religious conflicts in North Africa. History presents a lot of untapped stories to be told in video game as an art form. Now, before I go on and describe how to do it right, uh, let me give three examples of video games that did it wrong. So the first example is right here in this video, Battlefield 5. Specifically speaking, the Norwegian campaign or the Notly campaign. What's wrong in this campaign? Well, in this campaign, you play as a female Norwegian resistance fighter who is responsible for destroying and disrupting the German nuclear program. Now, while there were female Norwegian resistance fighters, this does a great disservice because the actual disruption were done by British commandos, who were all men. By doing such an unnecessary gender swap thing, what you're trying to tell me is that the female contribution to World War II is not as valuable as the men. They must take the role of the men in order to be regarded as equally valuable. And that is a great disservice to females who actually serve in the war. Why not cover actual stories of um, French spies who were female or the Norwegian resistance fighters who were actually female and actually what they did in war? Or even the Soviet Union tell their side of the story as their armed forces were in the front line where also had female soldiers. These are untapped stories and you can surely explore them further. Another way diversity can go wrong is to tell a story unrelated to the gameplay. So for instance, Company of Heroes 3 which was released last year. So the North African campaign, uh, you play as the German soldiers in North Africa. However, the story that's told to you is from the perspective of North African Jews living in the area during the war. You do not interact or play as this family throughout the entire campaign. So why include them? Is it simply to avoid being uh, telling the story from the side of the bad people of the war? Yet, trying to find out about the story from the other side it's a story still worth telling. It's part of the human experience. History is not in neat sections that you put it, put it together and sometimes can be quite ugly. But we also have a right to know the stories and they can be very interesting too. Another example is Rome 2 where despite claiming to be a historical game, they put in female representation when it's not being asked for. Now, example in the 2018 patch of Rome 2, they included the spawn rate of female generals and commanders. Depending on faction, the spawn rate can be as low as 15% or as high as 50%, which is unrealistic because during that time, it was a really a patriarchal society. So although maybe there were female commanders, I can think of Queen Boudicca at the top of my head, but they are supposed to be rare and not as high as 15%. So come on Creative Assembly, you can do better. And I know Creative Assembly itself don't even believe it because in the follow-up game, Attila Total War, they didn't even include any female generals. So even Creative Assembly know it's nonsense. Now that we are done with the bad examples, let's go to the good examples. So one good is this old game called Age of Empires 2. This real-time strategy game has many campaigns where they tell different historical stories from Asia to Africa and even the Americas. All these are quite interesting and give a flavor to the different factions in the game. And the differences are not just cosmetic. The differences also include different abilities and different focuses for the different factions. So it gives every diverse unit, uh, every diverse faction a unique taste. Another good way is this game called Eternal Darkness for the Nintendo GameCube, where it tells a horror, a cosmic horror story that spans history. So you get to play as a Roman general, a wanderer in Persia and also a Cambodian slave girl. Now these stories are unique and give a special flavor to the genre and to the art form of video games. So what do you guys think? 
Do you agree with my take on diversity? Or do you have other disagreements? Do let me know in the comments below. Alright, but definitely, if you are looking for stories of diversity, there's a lot out there. You don't have to pay consultation companies like Sweet Baby Inc. just to find out about diverse stories. With that, thank you and I hope you subscribe to the channel. Take care everyone and have a nice day.